Iris, take a memo. Staff meeting today. Attendance is mandatory. Excuse me. Dump it on an intern. I'm not finished with you yet. No, you may be finished already. Iris, go. Okay. What is it now? The overnights. So what? Everybody's numbers are down. The cutting edge is our crown jewel, or it used to be we could get better numbers than this from a test pattern. Adam, we ran reruns last week. Not of my season. No, no, the self-defense series. That was shown in February. The tapes haven't gathered dust it yet. It was an audience favorite. Three months ago. Are you purposely trying to run this show into the ground? No, aren't you being a little paranoid? I'm taking away what little control I've given you. If the cutting edge needs to be babysat. The hell it does. You demote me and I'll quit. Don't tempt me. You're kidding. You would honestly sack me over subpar numbers on a sleepy week? That doesn't make any sense. What the hell's wrong with you? Just uh, give me a, a couple of minutes to get dressed. Dressed? Hmm. Wait, you're covered. I just was trying to find my hair bands. Um. That's Adam's robe. Could you uh, go downstairs and get some coffee? You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here. Just long enough to find out some answers. <laughs> what, what what happened? I packed my bags. I, I did. I I was I was halfway out the door. How did you get here? I told Adam goodbye. I did. It's true. You slept with Adam. Mitri Merrick, are you ever at your desk? Your conglomerate must suffer without your leadership. Well, Susan, I didn't know that you were uh, walking the Wall Street beat now. Hardly. We're here for the same reason, the captivating nurse no, Marsh. No, no, no. I happen to be here for a board. Did you get authorization from Dr. Martin? How do you do it? I'm going to have to ask you. Some women have meal tickets. You have carte blanche. Adam Chandler, Dimitri Merrick. No, you slander Miss Marsh. You're going to be dealing with a lawsuit. Indeed. Rumor has it that spurned beau Tad Martin followed you two to Europe. Talk about the Grand Prix of Monte Carlo. I'm going to lose my job. You won't. Make Gloria the latest Countess Andrasi and it's bye-bye bedpans for good. From now on, no middleman. All programming and content decisions are proved by me. Adam, you have neither the time or the inclination. Allow me to introduce a solution. The answer to your prayer. What, introduce him to a stiff drink? I think you two should stop staring each other down. The answer is right under your nose. Me! I'm returning to television. Oh, I see. <laughs> so that request for a maternity leave from Enchantment was a ruse. Ah, how long has Olga been shilling for offers? I'm the woman, Adam. I'm your perfect solution. I can easily balance media stardom with motherhood. I'll just pre-tape my show, and I will turn an office into a nursery. You've got it all worked out. Of course I do. I'm a star. And I need a forum. Now that I'm a new mother, I have so much to share. There is no time on the station's schedule unless you plan to bump an infomercial at 3 a.m. Programming is not your area, Tad. Remember? You know, all of this infighting, it's really bad. It will destroy both of you. The cutting edge with Erica Kane was a happy place. And it was number two in its time slot. I'm number one. I was number one always in the demographics. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be on the right, 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 right. What if I, what if I were to drop the cutting edge? Take it right off the air. What guarantee do we have that Erica Kane Uber Mommy would succeed? Oh, I'm much more than an Uber Mommy, and you know that. You thinking... My return would be an event. Wait a minute. You're thinking about pulling the plug on the cutting edge? Uh, yes, I'm thinking Why? about it. To spite me? It doesn't make any sense. The, 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 the syndication profits are through the roof. Are you out of your mind? 
I think I came on a bad day. Come on, it's always something around here. I, I'm just going to drop my resume, such as it is, and get out of here. Yeah, then I'll get lost in the heap, and I'm not about to let that happen. WRCW? Uh, Scott Chandler, please? Yeah, it's me, Dad. Oh, Scott, Adam was in a really bad way this morning. Hey, any sign of him? Yeah, it uh, seems he's commandeered the studio and looks like he has hostages. Uh, who? Uh, well, Tad and Erica Kane. around. My dad's coming to talk to Uncle Adam. Not about me. Well, your name didn't come up, but uh, it's not a bad idea. Are you kidding? Mention of the name Laura Kirk would turn Hurricane Adam into a typhoon. Trust me. Go ahead, Adam. Get on the phone and dial dozens of affiliates and tell them that their supply of the cutting edge is about to dry up. With these ratings, they'll be relieved. Even if that were true, my deal's airtight. How can you possibly justify buying out my contract? Adam holds the purse strings. He's judge, jury, and executioner. If you'll excuse me, I've got a clock to punch. There's a show to produce. This isn't over yet. Adam, I would like my show to be a total reflection of the woman I've become, the survivor. You know, after my, my accident, after the rehab, we'll talk about timing after the pain. You told you I'd uh, to drop a, a proposal. I don't need to do that. Read my book. I mean, if you can find a copy out there, we're going into the second printing. Eric, I don't have time for chit chat. Right no, now. this is not chit chat. This is business. This is a gift. Come on, let's go into your office. Let's talk about this over egg roll. I am booked, Eric. Adam, think about this. We're not just talking about a, a proposal for a fabulous show. I am offering you peace of mind. I am not some pompous control freak like Tad Martin. I mean, I will maintain creative control, but I'm a pro. Your problems are over. My problems are far out of your reach. Champagne hangover? What? Did you drink all that bubbly last night by yourself? My personal life is none of your concern. You know what, Adam? Just brush that size 10 Palazzo pump off your pride and buck up. We've got work to do. I have work to do. Okay, okay, Adam. Why don't you get it off your chest? I am a good listener when I have to be. So why don't you tell me what happened with Liza? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> of course not. I mean... You didn't want to get caught. I have a tendency to ruin things. I mean, not a tendency, but kind of like a mission. I talked to Adam, and he, uh, he implied that you slept with him, you made love with him. I didn't believe him. Adam has an agenda, kind of. Oh, so he, he's lying. Hmm? There are two sides. Adam wouldn't renegotiate, so you resorted to uh, bartering for, for it. sex for cash. No. How much? How much? Did you get a good, good deal? Really? It's a lot of money. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what uh, I was up against here, because I... I... Let's not do this here. Oh, no, we wouldn't want to do it here. No, not this place. It's too special. Jake? I care about you. Please. You married Adam for money, and then you hoard yourself right here for for a lucrative divorce. I didn't get anything. Yeah, look, you know, I saw the divorce papers. You did? So did you read them? Did you read them? Because I didn't get anything. I didn't get a dime. So please, let's go. Let's go to the inn, and you can hold me, and I'll find the words. You can destroy me for this, but please don't leave me. I have nothing. Nothing to say to you. Please don't go, please. Please don't 
Your Monte Carlo romp caused quite a stir. And you need to get a life. They say you defended Nurse Marsh's honor with your fist. Excuse me, who told you that? I have my casino connection. Well, it was all a misunderstanding, and it had nothing to do with me. That designer dress Dimitri purchased must have something to do with you. Did you have a stalk? What's the difference if you have nothing to hide? Miss Marsh is engaged. Congratulations! Will Tad and Erica attend the wedding? It's day rigueur in the 90s. Gloria no remains engaged to Tad Martin. So you're still on the market. Only Erica Kane could dump a title tycoon. Would you take her back? Look, don't make me call security. Well, what are you waiting for, Merrick? This is, uh, in case you've forgotten, a hospital. Palmer, this isn't Dimitri's fault. We were ambushed. I was just about to show them the exit, Palmer. This is a public facility. Kick us out and we'll sue. You don't have a leg to stand on. I'll call security. You hear that? That's your last chance to leave with some semblance of dignity. Are you getting this? Would you get her out just of here now, please? Come on, Travis right, come on Montgomery. Now. Move, move along. Come on. Here, move mm -hmm. on. Come on. Oh, this little sideshow costs us some very valuable time. Well, 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 the same, same old pitch, Palmer, coddle the rich, deny the poor? You, know, you are a menace to this hospital. Bad publicity, that costs us patients. Uh, donations? Oh, well, so that's how you're going to shove the cutbacks down the board members' throats by starting a witch hunt. Your presence on the board well, just makes a sham of this hospital. You have to be recalled at once. Well, let's put that to a vote, Palmer. Oh, well, you bet. First order of business. You're going to drag this hospital, people that got her, over my dead body. Call for an appointment, Derek. Adam, you'll regret putting your personal woes ahead of opportunity. RCW is my only concern. If that were the case, then we would be talking numbers right now. So what is it? Does Liza refuse to play house any longer? I, I've told you, I don't care what Liza does. I know, it's difficult to be dumped even by a wife. Dumped? Excuse me, where did you hear that? Well, Adam, Liza's looking to bring her very uh, unique brand of mismanagement to the West Coast. She's covered every base from Sacramento to San Diego. Come on, it's the worst kept secret in the industry. Liza can do whatever she likes. RCW will thrive. It could. It could with a star at the helm again and no Liza Colby. Oh. Adam. Adam. What are you doing here? Um, I, I heard uh, WRCW has internships. Yeah, and Moore's going to apply. Really? Well, what happened to uh, television is obscene and treasures lives. Well, television isn't going anywhere, and it, it can do good. Really? So your aim is to redeem RCW? That's a lofty goal. Well, I mean, the station could be successful and responsible. Well, unfortunately, the, the position of station manager isn't open to high school seniors. Well, obviously, I would be willing to work my way up from the bottom, but that doesn't mean I don't have ideas. No, 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 you have to earn the right to have ideas around here. And being my nephew's girlfriend earns you nothing. No one's asking for special treatment. Our interns are on an academic fast track around here. 4.0 on a roll. We work them like mules. Frankly, I don't think you're up to our standards. Adam? Uh, could I see you for just a minute, please? I'm afraid you'll have to take a number, Stuart. Well, I could just just talk to you in your office. It's it's important. Please. Scott, scrap the rest of my day. I'm sorry I ever got out of bed. Uh, Adam's not himself today. Yeah, that was intense. Even for him. Something's up. Uh, hello? Could it be me? You were perfect. Adam's just upset. Yeah, it's, it's fine, Stuart. There's no harm done. Liza Donning, are you taking the day off? Please, Mother. What happened, darling? Where's Adam? Excuse me, could we take this inside, please? Well, I don't think we could possibly do any business under the circumstances. It'll be next week at the same time, and my secretary will call if there are any changes. Right. And you, try to keep your name out of the papers.
Um, Dimitri, I, I have a minute for lunch. So just keep your distance. The tabloids are all over us. Oh, uh, keep in touch. Gloria, let him go. I don't know. I'm really afraid he's going to do something stupid. Because Palmer Cortland threw a tantrum? Dimitri's stronger than that. Yes, he is, but he's not the man that he used to be, and he needs somebody that he can lean on. Somebody that's not going to judge him. It's me. Don't do it, Erica. I'm not going to eat in the cafeteria, if that's what you mean. Uh, I'm serious. You and I work very hard together putting the cutting edge on the map. And I like what you've done. I really mean it. So do I. No matter what Adam says, I can handle this program. I don't want your show. I told Adam that. My show will accentuate the positive. Well, do you think you can handle the deadline? The pressure? Uh, me? This is home. I love the cameras. And the camera loves me. And WRCW is not big enough for the both of us. And right now, we need to diversify. Two talk shows would simply cancel each other out. Well, then we'll just see what and whom the viewers want. What does that mean? It means that I think that Adam will really warm to my idea once he's in a good enough mood to give me a proper hearing. Laura. Oh, well, Laura, I'm glad to see you're still on your feet. Uh, thanks, Miss Kane. And I'm going to use them to get out of here while I still No, can. no, no, don't let Adam run you off. You've got spunk, and that's a really good thing to have in this dog-eat-dog -dog world of television. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. I, I, I heard you're going to be starting a new show. We're in pre-production. Will you be hiring soon? Soon as a budget is in place. Well, I would make a great stage manager. I'm, I'm really organized. That is a union position. Uh, what about um, personal assistant? Uh, there's a good idea. Sort of a sorceress's apprentice. You got my vote. Well, I, I learn really fast. And you would never have to worry about Sonia, because I'm, I'm great with kids. Kids love her. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they do. So, as soon as I get the go-ahead, I'll be in touch. Thanks so much. You sure. really made my day. <laughs> Bye, Sad. Well, if you're so high on Brooke's daughter, why don't you hire her? I can't. I'm covered. But she's quite a find. I mean, I know that if I had the chance, I would... I'd grab her up in a second. I mean, after all, shopping a, a show from network to network is so exhausting. Oh, I will have a show on TV. And it will be under the banner of WRCW. Is that a threat? Just a challenge. May the best show win. You love Liza. Keep it down. You slept with her. We sleep together every night. But Jake was waiting for her at the inn. She was moving out. You don't know what you're talking about. You left clothes strewn all over the place, Adam. Jake told me what happened next. What did you say to him? Nothing. I tried to get him to leave. But obviously you failed miserably. Whose side are you on, Stuart? How can you ask that, Adam? Oh, you're my other half. I, I, I hurt when you hurt. I don't hurt. Just, it's frustrating. Do you want to talk about what happened last night? Last night? I made a fool of myself. That's what happened. Liza, where's Adam? At his office. Well, darling, it's not like you to sleep in. He'll be wondering where you are. He's too busy to care. Darling, did you... rumple the sheets last night? You mean, did I, uh consummate this marriage? Yes. Did you, darling? It would hold up in court, Mom. Oh. Well, darling, maybe it uh, wasn't a night to rival the English patient, but it's what we were working for. Me? No, 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 I mean you, Donnie. You've got Adam White where you want him, Liza. You can't lose. Mama, look at me. Because I've lost everything.
bye.